We recorded our show on a Friday night. We usually do Friday or Saturday night. Right. And it drops on Monday. We recorded our show Friday night. And said, hey, might want to avoid Teton Pass for a minute. Right. <laughs> and then Saturday morning, it just critical fail. Right. Yeah. Collapse. Catastrophic collapse. Mm -hmm. So YDOT has some great footage. Let's play it all here. Here's a before and an after of Teton Pass. Take a look. Now, I have to assume that they got this footage because once they noticed the crack in Teton Pass, mm -hmm. they took some drone footage. And then once it collapsed, they said, let's see if we can get it almost exactly the same and match it up. Right. Well done, YDOT. That's amazing. Yeah, I want to know who their drone pilot is. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if he pathed it or she pathed it the exact same way. I don't know how you can do that. Yeah, I don't know. But And where would we be without drone photography? Okay, mm -hmm. let's show this too. Here's some drone footage of part of the actual slide. It's being called the Big Fill Slide. Yeah. I assume because that's fill dirt that's been placed there. I mean, that was, would make the most sense. Does Big modify the fill dirt or the slide? Yeah. Not sure. Mm -hmm. Let's just roll some general footage here while we talk about it. But why not? Thank you. Um, it's so cool to see with our own special eyes. Mm-hmm. And we're sorry that happened to you, mm -hmm. but the governor declared a state of emergency. They just awarded, I think, a $430,000 contract to a wow. construction company to do the detour. They're hoping <laughs> for May two wait, weeks. just the detour? Just the detour, I believe. Damn. So Wyoming is saying, hey, look, you can still come visit Yellowstone. I mean, it's the middle of the tourist season. Oh, I know. Right? You can still come visit. Just find an alternate route. <laughs> right, right. And you can. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that hard. I mean, I know right. it's not that easy, but it's not that hard. Right. I know, <laughs> you know? I, My son is in Jackson right now. Right. Yeah. And I was just thinking, too, like, I, I actually remember someone saying at the wedding, oh, I wonder how they're going to get down there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, e it's easy to go around. Yeah. You know, go through Holback, Alpine, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, it's easy to get there. We just had no idea. We're like, boy, something's not good with Teton Pass. And then mm -hmm. catastrophic fail. Yeah. Honestly, the bi <laughs> the biggest thing I'm kind of wondering is how they're going to go about fixing this. Yeah. Like, are they just going to try to rebuild, like build the dirt back up? I almost wonder if it would. Well, and here's someone who has literally no construction. Not civil engineers here. Not even a little. But I almost wonder if it would make more sense to do a nice little dip or something. I you know? know? Like sort of like. You know, so that you don't have to fill. I mean, I'm assuming there's a reason they filled it in the first place. There's got to be some benefit to doing it that way instead of being like, let's just go down a hill and then up a hill. <laughs> I'm always fascinated by feats but of yeah. engineering, especially through the mountains. Right. You know, those those train bridges and then boring right through the mountain. And mm -hmm. I mean, and we did that, you know, in the late 1800s. Right. Yeah, we were doing all kinds of crazy stuff with dynamite. 150 years ago. Man, think of all the fingers lost. Yeah, dynamite and John Henry mm -hmm. swinging that hammer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also in Yellowstone, while we're on Yellowstone, we want to mention the reported birth of a rare white buffalo in Yellowstone National Park, which apparently fulfills an ancient Lakota prophecy. Yeah. How crazy is that, by the way? And not ominous, not ominous at all. No. Like, <laughs> we've had some pretty wacky stuff It's a stuff good prophecy. On, like, I'm just saying... We're having all of these cicadas, okay? We just had COVID, like... <laughs> <laughs> this isn't part of the end times, we don't think. Well, I guess when firstborn suns start dropping, we'll know. Yeah, when the seventh son of the seventh son does yeah. something. Yeah, right. Anyway, the ancient Lakota prophecy portends better times. Well, but also comes with a warning. And cautions us that it's also a signal that more must be done to protect the earth and its animals. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, no shit. I mean, yeah, right? Should <laughs> have yeah. should have been thinking along those lines anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, about time. But that's kind of cool. Yeah. You know what? Honestly, if this is the thing that makes people decide to like not be shitty to the only place that we have to live, uh, I don't know what it would take. <laughs> you know, like, like it would be kind of funny if this is the thing that does it. Well, I, and I wonder, you know? are there any other cool parts of the prophecy? Like, will it breathe fire out its nose? I Probably mean, not. When, when it hits its teen years, will it develop mutant powers? My guess is that they don't actually expect it to necessarily live long. Oh, okay. Um, I think it's mostly just a symbol rather than like, I don't think that the animal itself to them has any special magical properties. 
You know, it's more. But it's just a, a it, sign. It's a sign. That, yeah. 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 But realistically, like where it is a white bison, it's not unlikely that it could actually be, you know, um, ostracized by its herd because it's going to look different. We'll feed you, buddy. Not only that, but also it's going to be more susceptible to predators because it's not naturally camouflaged. Yeah. Uh, I wonder, do, do they, I mean, is this a, uh, not a golden calf, but is this um, something that they're going to protect now? You know, give it a nice life mm-hmm. in a nice fenced off area oh. with its immediate family I don't, or, or do they let nature take its course? I don't know. You know, that's kind of what I want to know too. I feel like it could kind of go either way. Yeah. You know, I almost sort of lean toward let's make sure this thing lives. Like, let's take care of it. Yeah, give it a comfy life, a nice but, barn. <laughs> but I mean, also that's because I'm a white woman and I want to take every little <laughs> critter home. <laughs> There's this uh, TikTok I saw. Carly of, wants to hug every kitty. I you do. can't hug every kitty. <laughs> I actually saw this TikTok of a chick holding a possum with its mouth open Looking very upset. Terrifying, by the way. <laughs> Those things, yeah, they look right, scary. Right. And she's just talking to her boyfriend like, oh, can we keep him? <laughs> and he's like, honey, he's literally drooling out of his mouth. No, you cannot keep him. And she goes, oh, kisses it on the head and and, give, and like, let's go of it. Yeah. Just a reminder to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've placed a special link in this post that'll automatically subscribe you. Really need some YouTube subscribers. We've got a goal of 500 Uh, in the next few months and would love for you to be a part of that.